my channel so I haven't showed my face in quite a while. I posted five videos last week. Five. Why does my hand look like it's so long? Like, meh, looks like a turkey. Okay, sorry. Anyway, so I posted five videos last week. That, that's a lot of videos. I'm, this week I'm only posting one video. I'm sorry if you went to go see my last five videos, you know why I posted five videos because they're all parts of one video. <laughs> yeah, anywho, today we are doing a create this book two video by mariah elizabeth look it says by mariah elizabeth and you so this book is apparently also done by me but to be fair it also is done by me because i'm doing all the decorating in the book and i'm actually making it look like a beautiful book instead of a blank piece of page blank book anyway if you didn't go to see my last week's video, or well, the last time I did uh, create this book too, I did this page, and I'm only gonna let you see it for a little bit, because you need to go check out that video if you wanna go see how I did it, and da 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 da. This book is, it, I still got a lot of pages in this book, but this, it's getting close to the end, I have to admit. There's only a couple 20 left. <laughs> okay, there's quite a lot. My wreck, this journal is really coming to an end. That is getting very, very close to the end. That book is getting really close to the end. But anyway, let's find the page that we're gonna be doing today. It's this one and it's a big fat word. You can read it. It says, create disappointment, put your, Oh my gosh, I could read it off camera, but I can't read it on camera. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so, so sorry. But I'm just going to say it in my words because, you know, I'm struggling with that big word, okay? I'm struggling. No, okay. Anyway, have you... Did I do this on a video? I don't know. But anyway, back to this page. So it says, create disproportions. Yes, I did it. <laughs> So create disproportions. I did it again. So that means you need to, I'm gonna draw a person and I'm gonna make the head super small, make the arm one, make one arm longer than the other. That's making something disproportionate, is making it look unnatural. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be drawing a person and I'm gonna make it disproportionate. I think my plan is to make the head super small and to make one of the arms so long that it goes onto this next page because I was struggling to think, what can I put on this page? And then I was like, then the person can hold something and now we'll fill up this page. So yeah, that's the goal. We'll actually see if I change my mind during the art, 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 art art experience that took some while to say anywho let's get into this so let's go let's make a disproportionate person yes number five no number four Hi guys, so you're back with my face and 
I'm gonna try and <coughs> I'm gonna try and keep it simple, sweet, and short, so the ending won't be too long. But I'm going to explain the page. I decided to keep the background completely white because I just want to focus on the disproportions on this page. And it's so sweet, this page. So like I said, he's going to be on this side and his arm's going to... He's going to be on this side and his arm's going to stretch out and you know he's going to be holding something i was thinking beginning he was going to hold a, a balloons and he was going to go like to a birthday party or whatever and i'm like nah let me rather them let me rather let him hold a flower wow it's hard to speak so then i was like oh it's like he's giving the flower to his love so then i decided to add his love there only half of her, you only get to see half of her. But anyway, let's see the disproportions on this page. Number one, his head is way too small for his body. One of his eyes are bigger than the other. One of his hands are so small and then the other one's so long. His pants, one of his pants legs end there and then the other one ends there. One of his shoes are like 10 times bigger than his other shoe oh my gosh it was so much fun to do this page because you know every time you're doing a drawing you have to make sure that the the left side matches with the right side and oh, and then you're raising all the time to make sure they look even sorry i'm trying to get my hair back trying to raise you know the one side to make sure that the other side looks even and oh my gosh, but this was so much fun. Even the flower is disproportionate because one of the uh, thorns are bigger than the other two. And in the flower petals, you see this one's massive. This one's tiny. That one's so big. This one's so small. Anyway, and then the reason that there's like blue things all over his face and... um. You know, he smiles to the side and he's got like pink things on his face is because he's nervous. He's so nervous that his cheeks are going red and he's sweating. So the blue things on his face is sweat. And um, the, he smiles to the side going like, hmm, like a sweet little smile and he's nervous. So his cheeks are going pink. Also hers. She's also got sweat all over her. And she also has a little pink cheek and she's also doing a cute little side smile. Um, she looks actually very pretty, you know. I have to admit, her hair is so long and I love her dress. I love that flower also. I love this page. It was so much fun to do. It looks simple because it is because I didn't put a background in. But I just wanted to, you know, don't take you away from the focus, the love. Yeah. It's super cute. I love this page. So the the coloring for this page was actually super super simple. So you would start. So you would do red, and then you'll do orange, and do red, and like the flower. It starts with a dark purple, then it goes to like a lightish purple, then it goes to yellow, and also with her dress. It starts with a dark, dark purple, then it goes to a, a lighter one, and then a lighter one, and then it's blue, and then it's a dark again, and then it gets lighter and lighter. So that was the that was the color scheme. Even their eyes have it. See, it starts with a super dark green, then it gets to a light green, and then it gets even a lighter green. Even his eyes have it. So that was the color theme of this page. His pants don't have that color theme. Neither do his shoes, but I really like it. You can't even see her shoes because the page ends and she kind of looks weird. Her face really looks weird because it's like cut off to the side. But I'm in love with this page and I love how it looks. And you know what? I understand why Mar Mariah did this page because in one of her videos, she says that she's always focused on proportions, like when she was drawing uh, a picture of three girls and she's like, I'm trying to make the proportions look good and the proportions are always the annoying thing. So I understand why she did this page. She probably would be like, oh, when she does this page. Anyway, there it is. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. And in the beginning, I didn't say subscribe, so now I'm saying please subscribe so you become a paint blob in our paint palette family. That was ugly. My voice was so... So that was ugly. That was ugly. So this is what a proportion human looks like. And this is what an unproportioned human looks like. Anyway. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Create This Book 2 video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And I'm so excited that I did uh, this. Yeah. Anyway. Bye. Create This Book 2. Create This Book 2. Create This Book 2.